Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in 2662, part 9, listening and acting. Today we started with a quote that we had tweeted earlier. We are trying to express something that technically cannot be expressed. And we are trying to express in sound something we've expressed in words and images. In today's work, we took material from the cadence model. Well, we had already taken material from the cadence model and pushed it over into the pulse story model. But in today's work, we had to go back and kind of relabel things very carefully to keep track of the structure because we then moved on and copied stuff from the transitions model into the pulse story model down here. And in order to help ourselves do that, we created another little spreadsheet and we have gone from 11 to 15 lines and the first six lines which we had put together a couple streams ago remained the same. Um, then we added the root changes from our transitions model, the mode changes, and then we did a little bit more mode and root um, change. We cut something up into two pieces and rearranged it slightly. So this is our new pulse storyline sequence and we're keeping track of how many bars they last because in particular we had decided to use an extra bar at the quantum jumps. And we've also taken the time and trouble to uh, make sure we know what root we're in, whether it's C or D or G flat. And also if it's the full tonality, the minor tonality or the major tonality. So that's what we've done. So what we want to do now is give it a listen and think out loud about where we're going to go next. But that's going to be our main recap here. We did a lot of good work today. So here are the 15 lines. We like it. We like that little surprise ending too. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>